How's it going guys? Um, so my last video on the Tommy Boy CTF was actually like 45 minutes long, so I decided to change it up and do a much shorter video uh, this time. It's not actually a CTF walkthrough, but rather a setup of a virtual lab that you can do CTFs in. Um, and I actually use VirtualBox. I notice a lot of people use VMware Player and stuff like that, VMware Workstation. Um, I don't know why, but I've always used VirtualBox. Uh, I find it pretty easy and the virtual appliances um, that you can find online are are pretty handy so um, basically I'm gonna assume that you've already installed VirtualBox in order to kind of go on through this video and uh, once you have VirtualBox installed uh, the next step is going to be to actually download the uh, Kali Linux VirtualBox appliance from the offensive security website and uh, keep in mind that Kali Linux is um, what we actually are going to be using for our attacker virtual machine now you can use any flavor of Linux that you want and to download the actual tools that you want to use in your CTFs. Um, but the reason I decided to use Kali Linux is because it's already you know pre-installed and it's fairly simple. So I, uh, I have actually already downloaded this. I downloaded it a while ago, so the version I have is fairly out of date, but for the purpose of this video, that doesn't matter much. So what we'll do is once we've actually downloaded the appliance, we will go to VirtualBox. Um, then I can actually go to File and then Import Appliance. Um, once I'm here, I'm going to actually navigate to my folder where I actually keep my virtual appliances. And uh, it's definitely a good practice to keep like a nice tidy folder structure because you will notice that with uh, dealing with virtual machines, you'll have a whole bunch of different things in different places. So um, I keep mine in virtual appliances. As you can see here, I have the out-of-date Kali Linux virtual appliance. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. I'm going to proceed to the next step and you'll notice that the name it parses is pretty long and obnoxious so I'm going to change it to just Kali Linux one word um, and obviously this isn't super important. The next thing you do want to uh, check out is a bit more important which is the RAM. Keep in mind we will be running attacks from this virtual machine so giving it a decent amount of performance is uh, definitely recommended. I'm giving it about one-fourth of the total RAM on my computer and I'd probably recommend somewhere around that as kind of a good place to start. So I'm going to go ahead and hit import and over the next couple minutes this is going to import the Kali Linux virtual appliance. Uh, once that completes I will resume the video. So at this point uh, the import did complete and basically what that means is it's now time to add a secondary machine uh, if you're doing CTFs or any type of security related challenge, uh, this is going to be kind of up to you to find where you actually download that VM from. I went ahead and uh, decided to use the Tommy Boy uh, virtual appliance from the CTF that I did uh, previous to this video. Um, and that's actually found on the Volnhub website. So the nice thing about Volnhub is they give you basically a, an appliance that's kind of ready to go out of the box. I did notice with Tommy Boy that I did have to change the uh, kind of the networking configuration so that it would use an IP address um, that was uh, kind of on the same subnet as the other machines on my network. Sometimes it will try and use like a NAT configuration, which we did not want to use. Um, and the reason is when I actually run scans against my network, I want that virtual machine to come up as a result of those scans. Um, and I'll kind of discuss that as we uh, import that appliance. But you can uh, essentially find any virtual machine or appliance that you want online. I would generally recommend uh, some place that's kind of reputable like uh, Volnhub. And uh, I have already downloaded this, so we're going to go ahead and proceed. I actually do the same thing, and it's a uh, file import impl uh, appliance. And I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to that, which is in my vulnerable VMs folder. And as you can see, tommyboy.ova is right here. And I'm going to go ahead and proceed to next. Probably going to rename that because the default name is just VM. I'm going to name it tommyboy since that's the name of the CTF. And the RAM uh, on this one doesn't matter as much. This is just kind of like a basic web server. So I think one gig is probably fine. And I'm going to go ahead and hit import and we'll resume once the import completes. So with Tommy Boy uh, imported, we're actually pretty much set up in terms of uh, where we need to be to start our CTF. So the one thing that I did mention with the networking, uh, I'm actually going to open up the settings of the Tommy Boy appliance. Um, and as you can see, there is a section for network. It says attached to NAT, which we do not want. I like to use bridged adapter. Uh, like I said, when you do specific scans against your local network, um, this will actually show up, you know, with the same IP uh, 
information that you would expect from something on your subnet. So we're going to change that, hit OK. And uh, now we can go ahead and fire up Kali Linux and begin doing our network reconnaissance. I don't want to give away anything that would help you in these CTFs, um, but there is a pretty good way of finding out what the IP address would be of Tommy Boy. And as you can see, um, this is going to pull DHCP uh, I networking information automatically. So that will definitely pull an IP address from your local network as soon as you fire the uh, the VM up. So so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. A super simple setup. Kind of recap. Uh, we use two virtual appliances, one for Kali Linux, which is the attacker PC, and the other was for our CTF uh, vulnerable VM, which again, we use Tommy Boy for this one. Uh, there's a number of sites that you can use to find uh, security challenges, VulnHub being the one that I've been using recently. So definitely go out there, do some research, see uh, what kind of challenges you want to do. And if you uh, have any requests for me to do a specific challenge, feel free to add that in the comments. And if you had any questions on my setup, be, uh, feel free to leave that as well. So I appreciate the time you guys took to uh, watch the video and uh, see you next time.